G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at wafting laser guided bombs with the help of a JTAC. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by calling into the JTAC. We've got the frequency already set up. He's Axeman, we're going to check in for 15 minutes. Well, that's happening, I'm going to set my master arm to on. Then I'm going to come back over to the right side and activate the fuselage bomb, which is a GBU-10. We're only carrying a single bomb today. Set it to single, and I'll set my INS waypoint to the destination. There we are, 20 miles away. I'm gonna have to work very quickly. Right, that's ready to copy. Let's copy those remarks. I already know that we've got a set of vehicles at an airport. They've asked for the single GBU-10 that we're carrying. Okay, there's the IP inbound. And I'm waiting for the laser on. There we are, laser on. I haven't really spotted it, but this hurries the process a little bit, because we're getting awfully close. We're six miles now. We're going to be cleared hot, so I've started my 4G pull-up to 45 degrees. When it hits that mark between 40 and 50, I've released the bomb. There it goes. I'm going to level out, and then we'll have a look at the bomb. There we are. So just to recap, that was a 45 degree pull up, roughly 4 Gs, at about 6 miles from the target. Now we were in just dry thrust, with afterburner on, flat out at a thousand feet, we could probably get 7, maybe 8 miles if we're lucky. Takes a little bit of experimentation to work it all out. There we are, boom. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that today. I'll make a more detailed video when the laser guided bomb codes are able to be changed from the aircraft rather than the mission editor. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you on the next one.